Wait a second. I don't see her. Where is she? Where's who? Mary Ann Trench. Did she move or something? I don't see her anywhere. No, Andy, it's not Mary Ann Trench. It's the Mariana Trench. It's an incredibly deep part of the ocean near Japan and the Philippines that's in the Western Pacific Ocean. What? It is? Oh, man. I better call Mary Ann and tell her we aren't coming. Hey, Mary Ann. Turns out we aren't going to you. We are going to... Where are we going again? The Mariana Trench. To see a mariachi band. We'll have to schedule for another time. I'm sorry. Are you breaking up? Call you later. Oh, man. She sounded mad. That's an understatement. She said she was going to shave my head in my sleep and sell all my hair on eBay. Oh, well. There's always... Next time. Uh-oh. Did Steve forget where the toilet is again? Yeah. No, we've got a leak. But why? The Mariana Trench is almost seven miles deep. That's about as much as 35 Eiffel Towers. The incredible pressure is crushing the submarine. What does that even mean? I know the answer to this question. The deeper you go into the ocean, the more pressure there is. In your home, the average pressure you feel is 14.7 pounds per square inch. But at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, it's 16,000 pounds per square inch. This is enough pressure to crush human bones into liquid. Turns bones into liquid? We better make sure none of us go out. What the... So what do we do now? Use the animal communicator. Maybe you can fix the submarine. Here goes nothing. Oh, hey, man. Want to go find some dead fish? What? Wait a second. What are you doing here? I'm trying to find Mary Ann Trench, but I can't seem to find her around here. Ah, what are the chances? I just hung up the phone with her. Oh, my God. Did she tell you she was going to shave all your hair and sell it on eBay? Huh? Yep. Classic Mary Ann. So, now what do you guys want to do? I'd say we can play Monopoly or something, but we're uh, underwater and the board would get all wet. Ooh, what about Battleship? Nah, the board would get all wet with that too. Ooh, I know a game we could play. It's called Find the Dead Fish. Oh, how do you play? Oh, it's a lot of fun. First thing you do is find some dead fish. And then what? Yeah, that's it. That's like the only rule. Kind of made it up like eight seconds ago. What? Ooh, I'm freezing. What's the temperature down here? Well, on average, it's slightly above freezing, about 34 degrees Fahrenheit. I would turn up the heat, but there's not like a thermostat or anything down here, I think. Just you? Does that mean nothing lives down here? Actually, you'd be shocked. Even though there's so much pressure, a lot of things live down here. The most common life forms at the bottom of the trench are xenophyophores, huh? amphipods, huh? and small sea cucumbers. <gasps> Xenophyophores are these sponge-like single-celled organisms. Amphipods are crustaceans that belong to the arthropod family. They kind of look like tiny shrimp. And small sea cucumbers are uh, small and not cucumbers. There's also this guy, the Mariana snailfish, but he's disgusting and even thinking of him makes me want to throw up. No. And there's tons of different microorganisms too. But those are just the living things at the seafloor. You can only imagine what's at the deepest part, the bottom, which we call Challenger Deep. Wait, you call the lowest part of you Challenger Deep? Yep. That's such a cool name. I'm gonna start calling my feet that. Wait, why would you call your feet? I mean your Challenger Deeps that. Well, they are at the bottom of me. And there are cucumbers all over them. What? Wait, I've heard of fish living in you, and since it's so dark, they have lights on their head and stuff. This guy knows what I'm talking about. You're right. Higher up from Challenger Deep, you can find some bioluminescent creatures. Some creatures, like the deep sea dragonfish or the sea devil anglerfish, emit light within the very dark parts of the Mariana Trench. Whoa! And despite what every kid thinks, there are no megalodons down here. Trust me, I looked. Yeah! Yeah, we learned about megalodons in my other video. Let's just focus on you. So how did the Mariana Trench even form? I know. The answer is... Trenches form when two tectonic plates collide. At the collision point, one of the plates dives beneath the other into the Earth's mantle, creating an ocean trench. 
And what's crazy is only four people have been to the bottom. In fact, more people have been on the moon than the deepest part of the ocean. Just goes to show you how hard it is to get down here. Of the four that have visited the deepest part of the ocean, perhaps the most famous descent was made by famous movie director James Cameron. In 2012, he descended to the deepest part of the ocean alone to study this rarely seen place. Wow! How long did it take to reach the bottom? Not too long. It took him about two hours and 36 minutes to reach the bottom. Psst, that's longer than it takes to visit Mary Ann Tr Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I forgot to call Mary Ann Trench. She's gonna kill me. Sorry, man. I think you're too late. I scared my a fish and a bird. This video could not be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon, especially Mr. Nicholas, Mrs. K's third grade class, Creative Devin and Zach T, Leif Anderson Miller, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Isley and Jude Siegel, Henry and Walter, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Gavin Meidel, Dom and Ollie, Brenton and Cosette, Mrs. Esslinger's third grade class, Elijah Robert, Nora C, Dean Scandalakis, Chris F, Gwen, Iggy, Elowen, and Addie, Grayson Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Wynn and Ian Pertle, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Henry and Lucas Teeple, Audie and Riley Biley, Ethan G, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Aria and Kieran, Kai Kim, Gregory and Nathan Fernandez, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Kerry, Billy, and Mora. Lennon, McCartney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash. Levi Dwyer. Maggie and Audrey Thornsbury. The Revard Boys. Matthew and James Mondiello. Evan Lee. Amelia Murray. Michelle and Conrad. Annie and David in Pennsylvania. Wesley C. Owen Liam. Alfie H. and Elias H. Harry. Hannah, Maya, and Zoe. And Zeno the Shark. Want to get your name in a video? Visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, see behind the scenes videos, and like I said, get your name in a video. Check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. It's brown and has a hashtag symbol before it. Try to find it. You could use it to buy cool stuff from my Teespring store like this brand new Mr. DeMeo poster. This Roberta pillow and more. Check the description box for a link. And test your Mariana Trench knowledge on my Mariana Trench quiz at my Teachers Pay Teachers site. I have a ton of other quizzes and worksheets for my other videos there too. As always, check the description box for a link. Now let's do some fan art. I got a ton of mail this time so I couldn't include them all, but look in the background and you'll see your picture floating on by. I squeezed it in there. I did get this cool comic book of Super DeMeo by the Ward Brothers in Wisconsin. They had me fighting a volcano and that was pretty cool. And I got a ton of pictures from Mrs. Esslinger's class in North Dakota. They were all amazing, but I love Sophia's here. She really knocked it out of the park. Anyway, send me your fan mail and art to Mr. DeMeo, P.O. Box 58, Keyport, New Jersey, 07735. I can't promise to get everything in there, but I'll do my best.